Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. Here I have today in my shop 2006 Honda Accord with approximately 188,000 miles on the odometer. And it gives me opportunity to film video for newbies, for people who are trying to fix their own cars and they are not very experienced. So if you are a pro, you can definitely skip this one. And this vehicle was brought to me because it was sitting for a long time and apparently has some intermittent starting problems. So that's what the owner said. So I said, yeah, I fix your Toyota. I will do exception because I normally do Toyotas only here. I've, I will try to look at your Accord and if it's a starter, it should be easy to replace and so on. Of course, the story is completely different. When the vehicle came, it started perfectly and ran perfectly. There's nothing wrong. And there was check engine light, so I scanned that. And I got immediately P0341 camshaft position sensor A circuit range performance B1. So I re erased the code and it immediately came back. When the engine was running, it immediately jumps back. So I have a finally chance to show the newbies what is under the hood. And this is Honda's famous 2.4 liter, it's a four cylinder, double overhead cam, docht mean double overhead cam engine, which is famous for good reliability, but it has also one uh, famous issue which is the timing chain stretch. In this video I want to show you the related information which is to the code which we were discussing, right? It's a double overhead cam. We are talking about the camshafts and those camshafts are located underneath this valve cover. Here is the intake cam and here is the exhaust cam. And because there are two of them, you need two sensors, right? We were reading, the newbie might think, oh, where is the cam sensor? Where is the one? But there's not only one, there are two of them. And if you look right here, and I will use probably a pointer or long screwdriver, I will show you location of them and how to remove them. Maybe our long screwdriver has a pointer. So if you look right here, this is right there where I'm touching you see electric connector this is one of those and since it's located towards to the radiator it's the intake you can see air intake pipes actually here so I'm just trying to make sense for you how this works this is the intake cam it's not a crank some people they have no idea what I say. They will say, oh, crankshaft, camshaft, they even don't know what it means. So these are the cams which are on top of the engine. And this is the cam position sensor. It's basically electromagnetic unit, which is uh, just pushed in and held by one 10 millimeter bolt. That bolt is in the case of this one underneath. It's not visible right now, but it's right there. Where is the other one? Well, it's right next here. If you look down there, this is the electric connector right there for the exhaust. You can see the exhaust pipes are on the back. So the cam, which is towards to the cabin, that's the exhaust cam sensor. And there are basically two small, uh, it's made of plastic, but it's an electromagnetic pickup, which reads rotations of these cams and basically communicates with the ECM, which is the computer. How you remove them easily? It's very easy. You can remove this and put it on the side to the front. Then you remove the EGR valve, which is right here, and it's held by two 12 millimeter bolts. This is one of them. Do you see it down there? And one of them is right behind it, right there. If you use the extension with the wobble, you basically disconnect the connector right here, undo these two 12 millimeters bolts, and it will 
pop up. There is a gasket, so you hopefully will be lucky that gasket doesn't break or separate and you can reuse it. After that, you have absolutely fantastic access to the, we said, the intake cam sensor and the exhaust cam sensor, which is hiding right here. They are right next to each other, perfectly visible. You just pull them off after you remove 10 millimeter bolt, which is holding it down. So that was location of the cam sensors for the Hondas, the engine model, it's K24, or it's, you can just see it here, 2.4 DOS I VTEC engine. In general, extremely reliable and great engine. However, I'm afraid there is a problem with a timing chain stretch, which I will be diagnosing right now. But first, I want to use this opportunity to make this video for the newbies who might be completely scratching their head where the cam sensors are located. And depending on my timing here today, filming takes a lot of time. I might actually, depending what I will find, I might film some of that timing chain stretch which I'm expecting that it will be there at the 188,000 it will be not surprised whatsoever. I believe the sensors, both of them are good. I already checked the wiring harness. It's getting correct voltage to it, so that's that's all okay. Uh, I, most likely, if you will use statistically, the sensors are fine and there is stretch on that chain. So if it's possible, you can check this channel later. I hope I will be able to show some of that uh, in the videos here. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend. And I'm chasing that timing chain stretch. I'm looking for that. And that gives me opportunity to continue with you this video and show you. Do you see the sensor right there? It is the wiring to it. Do you see how it's protruding inside of the engine? And it's basically a reading. This is the cam I was talking about, right? This is the variable system right there, actuated. This is the cam as it keeps going through the engine. And these high spots, do you see this one? Right here. Then it's space and it's another one. I see, I believe it's four of them. So these are what that magnet Right, which is the sensor, the dark black right there, protruding inside with its rubber o-ring to stop the oil leaking out. This is what it reads. So as it rotates, it's reading them. And the sensor, in our case of the code, I believe the sensors are fine. They're getting voltage and they're sending correct signal to the ECM because I already look on the other side. I have a time then. This vehicle actually has a time exchange stretch, but I will be presenting it in a different video. This is about sensors, right? I put that E, do you see it? When I removed them, I just didn't need it to uh, remember. So I put E as an exhaust and the other one was obviously intake, which is right here next to my finger. So this is what they read. This is how it works. I'm very happy I was able to show you the whole deal. Now, as a new to the automotive, new to your Honda and so on, you start understanding how it works, where the items and parts are located, and how to deal with all of this. So, thank you for watching and be subscribed. I will definitely have way more content about the Hondas on this channel coming your way soon. See ya.